Hello friends! We are at Salone del Mobile, the furniture show in Milan. This year the organizers are asking the question, do you speak design? And traditionally, in a series of videos, we will find out what language the Iskibitas speak and how well they are understood by the hundreds of thousands of visitors who gather here at this grand interior show. Paolo Castelli's booth at this show is called Alla Sera, and like a good orchestra director, Paolo Castelli combines objects from different eras and regions into one harmonious symphony. The Greta table, which has a ceramic tabletop and the bell-shaped base, welcomes us at the entrance. A Sari chair complements it. This is also a novelty of this year. Here we realize that an article of Indian women's clothing served as an inspiration. The chair is made of leather with a wooden crossbar. The coral chair, a cone-shaped bouclier chair with a fresh finish, is also waiting for us at the little further down this grand hallway. And the light centerpiece of the composition is a novelty golden disc. The name speaks for itself. It is a lamp that consists of several discs with gilded glass. The AMA collection, presented last year, has also been expanded. AMA is now a modular software system that you can combine in various ways, create circular compositions, which are very fashionable at the moment, and also add or remove armrests. In this case, in the center of this semicircular composition is also a novelty of this show, the Kenya tables, inspired by the aesthetics of this wonderful African country. The pedestal is made of wood, the tabletops are made of wood or marble, and then can be either coffee tables or consoles. The console has a semicircular shape and is a great addition to this AMA models. It can also be as a dining table. The 3.5 meter long African table is accompanied by chairs inspired by Japanese aesthetics called Enso. Enso is a circle drawn with a calligraphic brush, a kind of expression of body movement transferred on paper. And in the back we see these two circles, which create a very characteristic graphic. Items from the abstract collection, including a chest of drawers and the tall bar cardboards, with a very interesting facade finishes surround this dining group. It is brushed brass, etched, and we see this abstract pattern. The works of the 20th century abstractionist served as an inspiration for this collection. The rugs featured in all the interiors are also from the same collection. They are named after the artists of this style – Pete and Theo. Light accents in this act of symphony are lamps of the new Fano series in the form of pendants, which perfectly illuminate the Kenya tabletop, and in the form of a floor lamp, which itself is both a lamp and a piece of furniture. If you place under this floor lamp the new version of the AMA armchair, the so-called AMA berger with a high backrest, it will be very nice and cozy. Oriental babu chairs have a very interesting metal structure wrapped in leather. This finish takes 17 hours of manual labor. They can be without a backrest and can be made in a composition, for example, two armchairs and one ottoman. A novelty of the last exhibition, the Ipanema collection of sofas, was supplemented by coffee tables of various sizes with a very unusual lacquer finish called Safian. Very deep pattern, unusual and unrepeatable from product to product. The branded metal base goes on the plane of the tabletop. The base of sofas is the same metal and has received a new type of finish. It is also worth mentioning that Paolo Castelli has beautiful not only large items, but also quite small or decorative ones. For example, cloth tables look very jewel-like, infinity mirrors really create a feeling of infinity. And to fall in love with yourself endlessly, it is enough to look at the, your reflection in the best world mirrors in different finishes. After all, you are truly the best thing in the world. 
Another light novelty of this show is also from Japanese culture. It is an origami lamp, which in addition to its direct function is also a powerful decorative wall accent. Traditionally, the Venetian manufactory Arte Veneziana continues to develop its contemporary collection in collaboration with renowned designers. They are Giovanni Luca Ferreri, who presents Paesaggi Italiani here, and Leo De Carlo, who shows a brand new melt collection. This year we present the development of Paesaggi Italiani collection with new pieces and finishes, where we continue to explore landscape and their realizations. On a journey started last year we want to show other amazing places. The finishes you see show new techniques and new colors that take us to different corners of our wonderful Italy with inspiring landscapes reflected in the pieces of furniture. We are still searching for successful ideas and new emotions, and we invite you on a journey through our colorful country. All the ideas are captured in glass, a material of our tradition, perfectly suited to show you the landscapes of Apennine Peninsula. To the already existing Italian landscapes, we are added some more quite expressive ones. The Gargana Peninsula in Puglia, in form of a decorative object on the wall using different glass techniques. A more utilitarian object is the Lago del Miage table, a water body on a glacier in the province of Aosta. And indeed, here you can recognize the transparency of the purest mountain water. Another landscape we observe on the Framenti Dressa is the island of Stromboli, one of the volcanic islands of the Lipre archipelago, which is north of Sicily. Sicily is also present here because there is a decorative object called Etna. The application of this collection can be absolutely different because Arte Veneziana produces products on an order basis. Here, for example, there could even be a one-piece glass panel with the design of Lange, a beautiful wine region in Piemont. The collection I created this year for Arte Veneziana is called Melt. It was born from the idea of replicating the play of light on the surface of the Venetian lagoon. We decided to apply the technique used in Murano furnaces for melting glass, but on large flat surfaces, to recreate the rippling water of the city canals. We then added a chromatic effect that reflects the aesthetic variations of the Laguna space and embodies the Venetian spirit in various pieces of furniture and interior design. We ended up with a pretty extensive collection. We started by creating small pieces, but then we realized that by increasing the surface, by creating tables with the very large tops, this smooth water effect is much more expressive. Given the artisanal nature of the production of this collection, each piece will be unique in its own way, and you can choose both the size and the color scheme, but as for the nuances, they will be present to a certain extent. And that adds to the uniqueness of these pieces. Whether it's a table or a chandelier, a great console that will suit a living room or some luxurious hallway combined with a mirror. If a decorative accent is needed, there is such a composition here too. Products from this collection can also be used for zoning. Excellent freestanding objects can be used as screens. And given the transparency of the design, it will be quite delicate. The shells are also quite a utilitarian object. And depending on what shade of glass you choose, the character of the interior will also change. When the sunlight hits, I am sure that the picture will change beyond recognition and will be no less beautiful.
Agape is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. To mark the occasion for every decade of their creative journey, they have built a new bathroom that incorporates both design classics from Agape as well as updates to collections that have been in the range and are relatively recent. Let's start with modernity and move back to the roots. A new concept is presented here. This is the block system. A shelf console, which is made of lava stone mined from the Etna Volcano, and the Sinoto wash basins are mounted on these consoles, which were presented last year. Both the Sinoto and the block were designed by Patricia Urkiola. Sinoto can come in a variety of sizes too, and now there's a freestanding version of the sink. Can be of lava stone, glazed, or of the clay in the various combinations of finishes. The architect Jean Nouvel's Face à Face collection has also undergone updates. If you remember last year, there were marble wash basins with a width of 60 cm. Now there are 1 m 20 with or without towel racks and storage models. The color line of Undici wash basins has expanded. Undici means 11. Each wash basin is 11 cm high, but the diameters can be different and now there are an incredible number of finishes. In addition to one color finishes, which are very interesting, and I like the one with the petrol look, there may be two color variants. For the 2010s, the Fasa Fas bathtub in marble, in this case in Nero Marchina, and last year's design prize winner, the L freestanding system are responsible. In the 2000s, items that had already, you could say, become classics. The extensive sand system of faucets and accessories complements a very thin L system sink, possibly the thinnest sink, with a hidden siphon and a very unusual grid. There are two new products in sand, a swiveling overhead shower and a luminaire that can be directed in different ways and change the lighting scenario in the bathroom. In addition, there are in-out bathtub, a lato storage system and nudo mirror. The founders of Agape Benedini Associati were responsible for designing the entire bathroom of 1990s. The new products here are the semi-recessed marble 004 sink and the 028 mirror cabinet. The mirror cabinet is a really very convenient place for storage and solves many spatial and optical problems. And the spoon bathtub, in this case in the XL modification, is an iconic object that has become a signature piece of the brand, which makes it very easy to recognize. The 80s were the era of disco and pop art, the era of bright colors. Here such a bright accent is Agape's signature orange. It is presented at the sink in a two-color version. The freestanding Undici has an orange plus steel finish. The Patricia Urkiola designed Una bathtub is also in two tones. PO2 toilet and bidet with accessories in orange, also by Patricia Urkiola. A very interesting item is a swiveling cabinet with a full-height mirror. It's called Voila. Two 
two collections that are homages to vintage sanitary wear represent the 1970s, the very beginning of the company's operation. These are memory faucets and accessories. Memory also has a flush button. Wash basins in this case are made in natural marble and it is worth noting that for the integrity of the image the bottom valve is also made in this material. The shape is branded Ottocento, the same as the bathtub in two color version. The memory toilet and bidet are in color version too. An update here is that a toilet is now available in a rimless design. The trend for compact bathrooms is unstoppable, and Agape has its own unique answer here. A range of wash basins and furniture pieces called Venti Quaranta. Venti Quaranta means 20 by 40. This wash basin can be hung parallel to the wall, that is 40 on the wall and 20 overhang, or you can hang it perpendicularly, that is 40 overhang and 20 width on the wall. It can be equipped with different cabinets, a cabinet with a hinged door and a laundry basket, or a drawer. The finish can be different too, different types of veneer or, for example, brushed stainless steel. The color of the concrete wash basins can also be chosen from the eight available shades to best suit your compact bathroom. The Rendezvous collection is also expanding. In addition to benches and various finishes, there is now a full-fledged lounger. There are never too many anniversaries. This year the Cavaletta system that Angelo Mangiarotti created turns 70. A revolutionary solution for its time, this system based on the inverted letter V allows you to create completely different interior pieces in different finishes. Cavaletta is now produced under Agape Casa flag. <music>